Hey, yeah, Shalom, Yashavala, first and foremost, I want to begin by giving all the praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rachakudash. Okay, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Muslim, and that peace and mercy, salutations, and love unto you, Akim, that are doing the work of Yahweh, Bashem Shai, in sincerity and in truth. All right, now I want to, you know, get into talking a little bit about the elect men um, and how that they will receive salvation because of their faith in Yahweh, Bashem Shai, man. Okay. Um, the elect men of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, you know, the men that are out there doing the work out there in the house and the bowels continually, okay, in these last days, they will receive deliverance, man, okay? Now, just like in the time of Noah, man, okay, Noah was out there building the ark, okay, um, while prophesying at the same time, okay, because he had faith and he believed in Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man, and ultimately, this is all why we're doing this thing, man, is to receive salvation. Okay, so our faith, okay, in Yahab Bashim al Shai will deliver us, man. Just like how, um, whenever uh, someone needed to be um, healed in a time of Yahawashah when he was out there, okay, Yahawashah told them what? That by your faith you are whole, okay? And so, in a time that we're, you know, pretty much about to um, approach here very soon, okay, our faith in Yahawashah is what will deliver us. You know, deliver us like your Lord willing, Lord willing, you know, that we are the elect men of Yahweh, Bashim al man. Okay? But before I read, you know, the scriptures that I want to bring out, I want to read the book of Matthew because that was a great example of what happened back then with Noah and what's happening right now with the elect men, the prophets. Okay? Because when Noah was out there, Okay, people did not believe what he was talking about. Okay, people scoffed at him. Okay, because they had no faith. And that's exactly what's happening right now, man. Okay, you people are lucky that the Lord still has his prophets out there in the house and the Bible, man. Okay, but very soon here, the doors are going to be shut. And just like how it was shut in a time of Noah, people tried to enter into the ark. But Yahweh did not accept it, man. He only accepted Noah. Okay, Noah's wife, his his three sons and his three sons' wives, man. Okay, and the souls, okay, um, of the uh, animals, man, that were in the ark as well. Okay, so that's what happened back then, and what's gonna happen now is that the prophets of Yahweh Shimon Shai are going to be delivered. Okay, and that ark, okay, is going to be the chariots in which they're gonna physically come down here and deliver and beam up the elect men that are out there in the house and about we're still doing this work man okay and so the book of matthew chapter 24 verse 36 but of that day an hour knoweth no man no not the angels of heaven but my father only so nobody knows when yahweh is going to return okay but only the heavenly father yahweh and so that goes into the importance of us continuing to push this truth, man, until Yahweh shall returns, man. Okay? If we are able, we will continue to go out there in the house and by ways to do the work, man, because of deliverance. Okay? That's the whole point of this, man. That's the main goal of this, is that we want to be delivered, us and our families, Lord willing, man. Okay? But mainly, we want to be saved in these last days, man. Okay, and so it says, verse 37, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Okay, so just like how the days of Noah were, okay, people were what? Drinking, eating, partying, okay? Before the whole COVID-19 pandemic, that's what people were doing. And even during that, okay, people are still chilling in their homes. Okay, eating, laughing, you know, uh, making memories, okay, making uh, videos, etc., etc. You know, um, you know, I'm a doing this and that, okay. But guess what? Yahweh Bashim al Shai has prepared, okay, and preparing his elect men in order to endure all of the temptation and everything that's going to come in these last days, man. Because the scripture talk about how that with Esau, having the power that he does, if it were possible, he should 
deceive the very elect man, but it's not possible. And that goes into us having the faith, building up our faith every single day, man. Okay? Every single day. And it goes on and it says, For as in the days of Noah were, before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, man. Okay? So the disbelief, the incredulity of the people at the time was very great. And that's what's happening right now, man. Okay? We're constantly talking about the RFID chip being the marketed beast. Okay? You have some people that believe, but you have a majority of people who don't believe. And you actually will have people who believe that that's the marketed beast. But because of fear, they're still going to take it, man. Okay? Fear will drive their action okay whatever they're going to do is going to be determined by the amount of fear that they have man, because they lack faith okay and that's the point even though if you're afraid your faith should be 10 times more in order for you to accept death man okay when you read the book of Maccabees okay our people would rather die than eat pork man how many people would do that today not enough man okay only they like one of your hapash and mashai man okay that's the level of faith that you gotta have in these last days man okay and it says and knew not until the flood came and took them all away so people didn't know okay because they were what they were of the night but we are of the day, man. We're awake. The scriptures talk about us being a watchman, okay? We're constantly, you know, pretty much warning the children of Israel, man, okay? Because, you know, that's our job. The scriptures talk about how that if we don't do it and they die, their blood is going to be in our hand, man, okay? We don't want their blood in our hand. We're doing our job, okay? And so if you don't hearken unto this, okay, we're in the very last seconds, man very last seconds at any moment right now Esau could roll up okay and that's it and so you better wake the hell up man otherwise the Habba Shema Shai is gonna close that door on you just like how he did to all the people that wanted to enter into Noah's uh, ark man okay but Yahweh Shai uh, rejected them and said I never knew you man get the hell away from me okay and it says and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two then shall two be in the field, and one shall be taken and and the other left, man. Okay? And that is an example and a representation of the elect man being throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Okay, you might have one brother in one city, two brothers, you know, um in another city, five, ten brothers in another city. Okay, the point is what? When the Hawasha returns, he's going to deliver his elect man throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Okay? And so and so I want to read a few scriptures right here that I have that I have right here in the book of Isaiah chapter 41, verse 1. It says, Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect. Okay, the servants of Yahweh by Shinal Shai are his elect. Okay, that right there goes to show you that the Lord is not dealing with everyone, man. Okay, the Lord is only dealing with his elect. Okay, and it says, In whom my soul delighteth, man. Okay, how many people can Yahweh Shai say that of, man? Only a few, and that's his elect because his soul delights his elect. He loves his elect, man. Okay. Just like how when Yahweh Shah was out here, okay, with the disciples and so on and on, okay, they were talking private. It's like it, they were talking private at times, man, because it is given unto them to know the king, uh, the mystery of the kingdom of heaven, man, okay, but unto the rest it's not given, okay, and it says, I have put my spirit upon him. So the spirit of Yahweh Shah is upon his elect, man, okay. The majority of our people reject it, okay? They want the Lord himself to come down and tell them what to do, okay? That's that's the faithless generation, man, okay?
okay? Yahweh said, when he comes, shall he find faith in the earth? Okay? It says, I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles, man. We're constantly telling our people they're going way the hell off, man. Okay? And then on top of that, we're constantly getting on Esau and the heathen nations, man. Okay? Because that's our job, man. Okay? Don't kill the messenger. We're only out here telling you the message, man. Okay? You know, just like when you watch uh, the Weather Channel, okay? And the weather man comes on, or the weather woman, okay? But in this case, it's the weather man, okay? So when the weather man comes on and tells you what the temperature is going to be like tomorrow, you don't cuss the weather man out, okay? Because he's only delivering the message. And that's the point, okay? I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Isaiah 45 verse 4, For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel my elect, the Lord has a favorite, man. Okay? Here it is. You have your favorite type of shoes you like to wear. You know, you have your favorite type of jeans you like to wear. Okay, you have your favorite type of drink. But the Lord himself, the creator of heaven and earth, Okay, the man that gave you these attributes in which what you like and what you don't like, he can't have a favorite. You people have to put the Lord in a box, man. You like to give the Lord limitations. Okay, you only want to uh, accept that the Lord is only about love and that's it, man. That's not so. Okay, and it says, for Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect, I have even called thee by thy name. Okay? I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. Okay? So, Yahweh Bashin Shai, he had always loved his children, man. Beginning with the elect, man. Okay? And to prove that, going back to the basics, the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 7, verse 6, because when you read the book of Deuteronomy, this is to the children of Israel, okay? And it says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power, okay? The children of Israel, man, okay? We are holy. The word holy means separate, okay? And it says, The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth, man, okay? You can't break this down any other way, man. Okay? But that the Lord chose the children of Israel. He kept them separate from the rest of the world, man. Okay? The other people have their role, but they're not on the same level as the children of Israel, man. And that's the point. And within the children of Israel, the Lord chose his elect men. And those are the men that he will deliver in these last days, man. And Lord Yahab Ashimon shall willing that those men are us men that are out there doing the work okay and with that akiam shalom until next time